So hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Millie and if you're a maritime subscriber, hey, I really appreciate you. So guys, I know some of you still like videos about Denmark and uh, yeah, <laughs> you're going to hate Denmark for this. You're not going to like, you're not going to like Denmark for this, the weather. I love Denmark and I cannot imagine myself living in other places, but the weather, I think if the weather in Denmark was good Denmark would be perfect the perfect country to live in well I can't say that because I haven't lived like in Norway or Sweden but I do love Denmark but the weather is really really getting to me and uh, I've been living in Denmark for over 25 years and then the weather has never bothered me at all of course it bothered me like it gets cold and all that but I, I think I got used to it and I was lucky enough I think after staying in Denmark for maybe three four years I already had a car I already have a driver's license and I could drive so I did not suffer standing on the buses waiting for buses or walking in, in, in snow and in the cold so I wore my car and jump into the car so I've not been bothered. I always try to find the positive in the weather, I try to go for walks and I think the snow can be beautiful and the ice can make really beautiful uh, landscape. But this year, I think actually even last year, this year has been really, really bad. Right now today, I think it's the 22nd and uh, yesterday, like the, the weather was it was icy on the car when I woke up, like really, really icy. I had to de-ice the car. Um, and then it 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 uh, howl. I think it's called howl. They came howl. In the same time, they came sun. At the same time, it was wind and rain came. But all in all, it's been cold, and uh, we are almost um, approaching May. And we haven't had like I think yesterday, Yan and I we sat outside a bit and uh, ate some. Well, had a drink, but. It, we still had like coats on <laughs> imagine we're still in was getting close to may and we're sitting outside in in, in our coats i haven't put all my winter coats away and uh, yeah if you're coming like let's say from los angeles you're coming from brazil your spain you are going to hate this country for the weather and uh during the winter time already i think in october in october we're already having like very short dates what do i mean with short days like it gets dark very quickly um when it's approaching like uh, december november december like three o'clock it's already dark and when you wake up in the morning to go to work it's dark you come home it's dark you're coming from a country like spain like italy well like the sun is always shining even in uganda when the sun is always shining and then you come here like we're going to have like five months believe me no way out of it you're going to have five full months where it's like you have these dark days and then it's cold and denmark is very windy guys it's so so windy even right now the sun is shining outside but it's windy so even if it's, it's supposed to be warm and the wind is there it gets really cold because i think because denmark is very flat so the wind is just passing through and uh, at our home here we don't have yet uh, trees because all houses here are new so we don't have trees so we're not getting any protection from the wind uh, if i have to go to the garden i have to like pack myself in and uh, right now i think some years ago right now um, it would be nice weather you could even be we would even get like some good days where you could actually even go and lay by the beach um but this year has been bad and as in many countries i'm expecting it to get worse you know like uh, this year we got like really really a lot of snow we were snowed in and that had had not yet happened like it hadn't been happening like uh, the last maybe even six seven years we hadn't got this kind of snow and it was raining it has been raining like raining the gardens were flooding you know I think Denmark has also to rethink everything now because there came so much rain and we're not used to this kind of rain. If you are if you're a plant lover, you know, I had most of my plants, I had them in our greenhouse and uh, a lot of my roses, they were doing very well and I took them out and I uh, had bought some lavenders, I put them out exactly on that day when I put the lavender out the ice came and i think that's gonna die so if you're a plant mother also and you love plants yeah of course unless you plant them in the in the soil you have to find plants you know they will survive uh, to be outside and then you can plant them in the soil but i love having plants in uh, in um, in pots so i can move them around 
but that is like wow a lot of work and they're losing a lot of money because you you never know because sometimes it's like it doesn't show like ice is coming and boom suddenly it's there i was so so shocked yes yesterday and the day before when i woke up and there was i was like wow this ice and i went it was like the car was so iced up i could not believe it and so it means like i feel like we have few days few days of what, what you can think like this is really summer and the thing like when 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 the sun comes in denmark it comes like hot when it when the heat comes it's like so hot you know like people like us who, who, if you come from tropical countries or from uganda we don't have this kind of heat ah you also feel like oh i just want to be inside because like it gets so hot i love denmark uh, but right now uh honestly if i had money and all that i'll be dreaming like moving to places like italy or i don't know spain or greece <laughs> we are getting old and i'm always telling Jan like oh i don't think i want to be here like uh, yeah we can keep our home here but if we can afford save up and then maybe have a place where we can go when it's winter and come back when it's uh, it's summer um i think some people who have money they do that you know rich people whatever people have had enough money and a lot of pensioners i think they do that they like they go away and come back when it's the weather is good but yeah i love denmark and i love the beautiful uh, like changes during the you know the winter comes and spring comes and autumn comes i really love all this but i just wish we could have at least have like two full months of like summer and you know like we're gonna have this two full month and it's going to be like warm no because even when the summer comes then you have like maybe two days when they're really really hot and then uh, and then the rest is like sometimes raining and windy and once in a while we have had like a whole week even 14 days but once in a while and those are the kind of things even they, they talk about in the news but i also don't know like if we should be complaining because in other countries like greece and spain you know they get all these heat waves when the things are burning people are dying of the heat so oh why should do anybody remove <laughs> But guys, I just wanted to make this short story. If you're planning to move to Denmark, you, you see Denmark and all that. And I see people saying, oh, I'm planning a trip to Copenhagen. Yeah, <laughs> plan a trip to Copenhagen. Or if you're planning a trip to Copenhagen in the summertime, yeah, you better pack your warm clothes, pack even like a warm coat because it gets really, really cold. Yeah, even if the, the weather is good, during the summertime in the in the evening it's get really really cold i've never felt like depressed about the weather and i always talk about how to avoid depression during winter time but this this year i've been telling people this year has been i think really really rough i really really felt it um and like we, i live out in the i think 15 minutes from the second biggest city in denmark so i'm out in like in the village and people are inside and i feel like maybe if you're moving here to stay if you live in the city it might maybe be okay because they're you know, moving around you're seeing other people but being in the city doesn't guarantee that you're also going to be able to meet people and talk to people so you also chance you're going to be in a house alone during this whole dark cold wet season by yourself and i think that's the most scary part of it being in home alone it's dark it's cold it's windy you know who are you going to be visiting all the time or, or entertaining if, if you have many friends you can entertain and visit people you know that helps and also think that what helps if you have a job but if you're a stay home mom oh lord i think that can really really be tough i can i don't know what i would do if i was just staying here home and not doing anything i'm i have many hobbies like i'm like i have so many hobbies like it's sometimes overwhelming so i'll probably find something to do but still, I feel like going to work and talking to my colleagues and being at work and like occupying my mind with something else keeps me busy. So I only have like, I'm at work from seven to three. So I only have time to think about winter and, and, and uh, like focus on it for a few hours, you know, and then I have uh, my family, I have Jan at home. But I think if you are just alone, you know, let me say, if you are stay at home, mom, your, your man is going to work and you're home alone and maybe the kids are in daycare wow that's gonna be difficult but there's nothing to do if you if your husband is here and you're coming to denmark or if you guys have got a job and you're coming to denmark there's nothing to do but also if you're coming like on a contract then it's okay because you know it's just a matter of time and then you'll be going back to wherever you're coming from but yeah guys i love denmark but right now today it's the 22nd 22nd we have like nine days before may you know spring is almost passing by and uh, it's 
windy today i don't know how many degrees it is outside let me check today is showing like it's sun but it's showing actually i don't know if you can see that today is showing sun but it's also showing like a tuesday it's going to rain and uh, today and tomorrow we're going to get frost so we're gonna get minus one in the night minus two in the night again so i've seen been seeing people out in the gardens buying flowers and everything and i'm like unless you have like a place like i have my greenhouse i can put my plants over there and we have also a garage i can put plants over there if you don't have that don't be buying plants right now uh, i think you should be waiting because one uh, minus one minus two the, your plants are gonna die normally around this time you should be able to have put your winter coats away but i'm still wearing my winter coat we went out to buying uh, plants the other day and i think i just put in a shirt and my winter coat which is 100 percent wool i was freezing you know this is in april you know when i'm walking outside i see people are wearing these duvet coats because it's really really cold it's so depressing to see like in april we're almost in may and we're still wearing our winter coats so if you're coming here and uh, <laughs> if you're planning your trip to copenhagen here in april may even in june invest in something warm don't come on with your summer cute flowery dresses because uh, you may not have a chance to wear them and uh, if you only bring that you might end up having to buy new clothes in copenhagen and the copenhagen is very expensive so if, if, i think you should pack half some uh, summery clothes and half like winterish uh, springish uh, outfits um yeah uh, we're still wearing our winter boots you know and uh if you're a fashionista i think <laughs> if you like that somebody who like your fashion unless you're going to get i also think you have to get used to to style and style these warm clothes so you can uh, look good um otherwise you're going to be wearing gray and black just like many other people and the sun is shining right now and uh, yeah i haven't put away my winter clothes actually all my cardigans all my sweaters there yeah because that's what i'm wearing i'm only wearing this one because i'm sit i'm sitting here inside and we have many glasses so it's warm but otherwise i'm going to go in the guard i'm going to go and clean up the outhouse i'm going to put on a big coat i'm going to put on a huge coat while i'm going there but inside that it's, it's very very warm and that's why we got this uh, glass house because um we can sit out and feel like we're outside um we sit in a glass house it's so open you feel like like you're almost outside but you're not sitting outside already in like early april as soon as the sun comes up it gets warm in there so it's kind of nice so you have to be creative but these things also cost money you know to do so i just wanted to rant guys about the weather here in denmark and uh, just to inform you because you see people like oh copenhagen this oh copenhagen that yeah copenhagen is beautiful just like other countries um but uh, if you're coming to stay in denmark you're coming from africa or wherever and i know like you cannot change whatever country you're going but yeah be prepared be prepared be mentally prepared that uh, the weather is gonna hit you so hard all right guys i hope you enjoy the video like subscribe share and yeah comment leave a comment guys and tell me what you think about this uh, weather in denmark if you live in denmark <laughs> i know my friends on instagram they always hear me ranting about the the, the weather but i'm positive about uh, i try to be keep positive about uh, this uh, danish weather as much as i can because i cannot do anything about it i live here i cannot just pack up and live go live in italy or spain uh, i dream about that but until then, I'm going to be here in Denmark. And yeah, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos like this. Bye.